Welcome to D-Lab Electronics. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install the D-Lab K2 push to talk switching module into your DX60 transmitter. All right, all the new filter capacitors are installed in the DX60B. Now, we're going to install for the first time the D-Lab K2 module in this radio. All right, I have the power supply and push to talk line hooked to the K2 module. It follows the Heathkit color code, so the brown lead is 6.3 volts AC, black is ground, the blue comes up here and goes to the tip connection of the TRS jack. The ring, which is in the middle terminal, goes to the mic input. All right, let's finish her up. Okay, now we are wiring the switching side of the K2 module. First step is to remove the yellow wire from pin 8 of the function switch. Then you're going to extend that wire because it needs to go to the relay contact and you solder another wire to that pin 8 and that would be pins A and B when we're completed. Then the real booger is pin 9. There is a white wire sitting way down there. He's extremely difficult to get to. Rather than pulling the switch out, I'd recommend that you simply go back in the wire harness, find that white wire, clip him and splice in, and then connect to the board. Now here is an option for you in case you don't want to get into that wire harness and fish out the white wire from pin 9. Come back here to the accessory socket go to pin 5. That is a white wire. That's the same white wire that's up on the function switch pin 9. Lift that wire and splice into it. Then connect another white wire and then that pair will hook up to the other set of contacts on the K2 module. Alright, that completes the installation of the switching side of the K2 module. So this enables push-to-talk function. Now we also have two sets of auxiliary contacts which we'll utilize here in just a little bit. But first I want to go ahead and hook up the transmitter into a dummy load and make sure what we've done so far works. Here we go. I've got the DX60 fired up. We're on the 40 meter band. We're currently at standby mode. So I'm going to key the transmitter. You can hear the relay. but there's no output and that is what we'd hope for. Now let's go to AM mode. You can see there a high voltage light came on. I'm going to key it up. We have output. And she's modulating. So push to talk is working great on the DX60. Now let's make use of those auxiliary contacts. So I talked to the owner and what he wants for the auxiliary contacts are two things. He wants one of the pins on the accessory socket to be able to key an amplifier. So we'll find an unused pin and switch that to ground. Then he wants to backlight the meter and also have an indicator light when he transmits. So the meter will be incandescently lit with a white lamp and when he keys, we're going to have a secondary lamp that turns the meter red. That would be pretty cool. I've never done that before. Let's give it a shot. Alright, I've got the magic lamps hooked up. So we're backlighting the meter. And then when I key the microphone, you have the upper red LED. But unfortunately, since this meter has this back plate, it's difficult for the light to get through, so I really don't know if it's going to give the guy the effect he's after. Let me kill the light and I'll show you what we got. Alright, lights are off. You can see the illumination of the meter. I'm going to key it. So, you do get a little bit of a red indicator, but when the lights are on, it's very difficult to see it, and it's also very difficult to see the backlighting. All the lights coming in from the bottom of the meter, the rest of it, and it blocks the light unfortunately. It's a good idea though. K2 module installation is complete. I'm going to walk you through the connections and I'll provide a block diagram. 
We'll start on this side. The two yellow wires are the negative keying voltage coming off of pin 8 of the function switch. Then we have the two white wires and they come off of pin 9 of the function switch. The two white wires provide the 120 volt switching for your Dow key relay coil. On this side we have the auxiliary contacts. So this blue line is turning on and off the red LED behind the panel meter for the push to talk indication. And down here we have this black wire which is being grounded when you key and that goes to pin 3 of the accessory socket for keying things such as an external amplifier. Alright, let's get this thing powered up and test all the functions. Alright, radio's powered up. I'm in AM mode. I'm going to key the radio. You can see our plate meter. Indicator lamps on. We have output and 120 volts on the accessory plug for the Dow key relay. So she's working well. The only thing I need to check now is that keying output for the amplifier on pin 3 of that octal socket. I got my ohm meter plugged into pin 3 of the octal plug. Key her up. And that's switching to ground. So you can use that to key up an amplifier or some other external apparatus. So that completes the installation of the K2 push to talk module into the Heathkit DX60 transmitter. If you want one of these for yours, you can reach me through dlabelectronics.com or shoot me a message direct and I'll get you hooked up.